All right, honey, so today is January 15th. I'm gonna prove it too, just by showing my phone here. So it says January 15th up at the top, hopefully you see that. Um, we obviously closed, if you guys have been following us, on Friday, right before Christmas Eve, and then we didn't get the keys till Christmas Eve, so the 24th, they worked that night. So basically almost Christmas day they started. The 25th, today's the 15th, so we're right at just over 20, 21 days. I haven't been here in probably a week and a half. You've been here a couple days ago? Yeah, I'm still dropping off light fixtures. So we have gone through the draw process once already and we were going to film it, but um, what happened was it, it was so quick that, uh, and, and we were going over stuff, the guy came in and out. So this time what we learned is that guy's just, at least guy or gal is going to come in and, and make sure that the work that you're talking about is done. So right now we've got our budget and we're gonna go in and see how much the contractor has done and get another draw, our second draw. Just gotta go in and check it out. And the reason we really wanna film it today is because we want to show you uh, the last draw process. They actually held back a little over $2,000 they didn't give to us because some of the drywall, it was almost all done, but some of it wasn't textured yet. And so they don't play no games. If it ain't done, they ain't drawing on it. So we got about 15,000 of the 17 and a half thousand that we wanted. And so I'll show you that. And then what we're gonna do is go in now because we have to do a draw process tomorrow and uh, we wanna make sure all this stuff is done, so. And it is colder than cold today. I think it's open. Oh. Just gotta push it. That was easy. Okay. Wow, the carpet is done. Already got the new can lights. Here's the new bedroom. And you can see the tile floor is done. There's the closet. So one thing we can check off is the tile floor. Um, now, if the tile floor was not done throughout the whole house, we probably wouldn't get all of it done. But now it looks like the carpet's done in the entire house and the tile. Oh, oh my God. I heard something. What is it? Holy shit. They're already in. Yeah, but that's like, holy. So we're 20 days in and I mean, look at everything is taped, textured. Remember these had that ugly trim on there. Now it's got that perfect 90 degree edge. And I don't know if you guys even noticed, geez, I didn't even say it. We painted the whole outside of the house white. That's something that we added on though, right, hon? How much more was that paint? And, and why do you feel well, you wanted to do it? It was a 4,700 extra, but is that the doorbell? Someone is at the doorbell and they shouldn't be. What's up with that? Here, uh, I'll get it. No? That was creepy. That was, <laughs> that was very creepy. creepy. <laughs> that was definitely, oh no, oh yeah. Definitely the doorbell, but uh, nobody here. <laughs> Anyways, we decided to paint the outside of the house white. If we're gonna do this much work to make it look amazing in here. Yeah, you want the, you want the outside to kind of mimic people in when they're looking for homes. They're gonna be like, oh, it's a pretty house. But why didn't you paint the outside of it? But why didn't you do the outside? All that work. So just to stand out again, we wanna be top of the market and the best one in the neighborhood. This isn't one of the ones we're just doing a quick flip. Since this is kind of a higher end area, we know people are really attracted to this area. We wanted to go above and beyond. So again, these are custom cabinets too. These aren't prefabs. So the only thing that's really left is a couple doors obviously, but the, the countertops and then we have I know, I don't know what that is. And there's never... So there must be a bell upstairs or something going. I'll go check it out. No, don't leave me. Don't leave you? We're all locked up, so. It is definitely the doorbell or something going off. Maybe it's a ghost. Okay, let's go see. I don't want you anymore. I know, right? Hey, the toilets are in. Check out, awesome oh, the... laundry room. What? I got this thing. So yeah, the art, we had the custom cabinet guy do the uh, cabinets. I was the... just gonna get like a little cheapy one in there. So, the ba I mean, yeah, toilets are in. Oh, I see I the big. Like, I feel like you're scared. <laughs> big vanity. That's gonna be for our master bathroom. So, oh, we don't have lights in here for some reason. Oh wait, maybe over here. I thought we had lights in here. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, so we decided to not do the big tub and save the cost and go with a stand in or a big stand up shower but you can see how big it is and it's done so the tile in the bathroom's done yeah that's a bell that's going off we just heard it again but that's cool so we'll have the big glass pane right there 
huge walk-in tile shower, paint these doors. So right now we can put we can put that the bathrooms are basically done, right? I guess the, the vanity, tile. The, tile. the tile, and the oh, shower. Look at this. I love their, they do such a great job. Just seamless. Yep, instead of doing a transition. Yep. Looks so good. I'm not. She doesn't want me to leave her. We keep hearing that bell. I'm gonna have to ninja somebody. I'm curious to know what that is. Is our car still there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go check out the carpet upstairs. This is cool. Oh yeah, we got vanities up here. It smells fresh. Okay, so here's the first bedroom. Perfect. Did they fix that drywall in here? Yes, they did. Okay, cool. Yep, so fresh carpet. And then here's the uh, next bathroom. Again, vanity, custom. And that's why, guys, we're only 20 days into this, but you know, we're, we're really close to done. That is cute. That turned out awesome. Basically, you do the bottom. Put in the bottom piece. Yeah. But that turned out great. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to match the. So this is going to be, now you guys can see it. And the good news is, remember that wall had water stains and, and uh, mold. I don't know if we went over that as well as here. So they went up on the roof and they fixed a bunch of it. It was about $400 and they had just to seal some stuff and they were able to get it fixed is that wet again or need painted or what is, is that just bleeding through well, it's not it, um it's they didn't put the right sealant on it something so we'll have to tell them about that because yeah. you can definitely see that water it, it'll get taken care of. so this will be a big media room or bedroom that, we're going to call it a bedroom you know for selling it but they're probably going to turn it into media room since we made that other one downstairs yeah, it's, I think it's something in here, security system or something. Just got to get some banisters right here, almost done. But check out the fireplace now from up here. We painted it black, black beams, and then removed those lights and put in those new black fans. So definitely what stage what, the living room? I, I think the living room. <laughs> there it is. That freaked me the f <laughs> So there must be a bell upstairs or something going. Oh my gosh. Why didn't they take that out? They should have taken like, it out. all this is easy to come out. I don't know what that goes to, but that is what's going. It's like the doorbell stuck outside. And it goes, right. ding. Move on. <laughs> All right. Last carpet over here. I cannot believe, man, 20, 21 days in, and we've got. Holy, this is ginormous. Look at that. That is so cool. Double. The lights are cute. Vanity. Ooh, I like that. Yep, custom. Was there a tub, tub on the other one, right? So we yeah, have one tub, tub in the house. Tub, yeah. So as long as there's one tub, and then this used to be a door that went into that big room and it was a separate room over there. That's why it's a double vanity, but that turned out great. Big walk-in closet here. So what we'll do is we'll go down over the budget now and see what we can draw on. We wanna, you know, obviously get our contractor taken care of and just full transparency, you know, this is our first flip. So, you know, some a lot of our funds are tied into this and thankful, you know, our contractor is covering a lot of the costs up front so that's something that you may have to look into doing is having some of your own funds to pay for these projects but he's also we're going to do a lot of these and and so he said look let's just get your first one going first two going and then from there you know obviously we can adjust and probably going forward maybe we uh pay him and then reimburse ourselves with the draw but we'll go in the car we're going to turn this off but you can see in here i mean we're we're basically needing countertops, paint. They're gonna have to paint, you know, the cabinets here, get the countertops. We have all the appliances and stuff that can go in, but man, everything is tape textured, mudded. It's just kind of finishing the, sorry, I'm an idiot and I turned it off. Uh, it's just finishing the bathrooms, countertops and paint, little bit of texture and baseboards. Oh, we don't have baseboards down here yet. They got some of them up. That's probably, I mean, a day of work. The guy, they do those really quick. Are they painting those doors back there and stuff too? Yeah, I think it's gonna be charcoal black. Like a, the, charcoal uh, black. Charcoal black. It's the same as the outside. Yep, cool. Well, let's turn all these off. My thumb's barely working to turn this camera off. We'll see you guys in the car when we get warm. All right, so I just wanted to show you real quick. I'll turn you around, better view. We painted the outside, like we mentioned, um, all white with the black trim. So now this baby stands out. You can see just how pretty. And then obviously we cut those trees down. I think I mentioned that before, but there were massive trees right here and it just covered like that whole side of the house. So now light and bright, big white, getting ready to list this baby soon. So holy moly, you wouldn't believe how cold it is here in Texas, a freeze. You can see the ice on my handles. It is cold, cold. All right, so how much is it looking like we're gonna draw this time? So for the bath, 20, flooring, nine, 
landscaping 1000 the rest of the sheetrock 15 cabinets 10 3 i doubt yeah he'll we'll get that full because it's not painted but then the interior paint's done so we're gonna put a draw for 48.80 okay so now we've learned we're gonna put in the full draw amount for 48.80 that sheetrock yeah rest of it yeah, that's, that's what we didn't rock. get reimbursed last time so we'll get that for sure and then now we'll put in that full request they'll come tomorrow the next day i'm sure and then they're gonna judge how much of this is actually done the only thing with the cabinets too is they were all there except for the island so we'll see what they do on that all right hon what are we gonna draw on and what do you think is all done well we can definitely draw on the bathrooms the flooring the landscaping that the 1500 for the rest of the sheetrock cabinets and the paint the interior paint is that flooring for is that the tile and the carpet or was no, it two of them flooring is and then 1500 Actually, I think is that can be yeah. different because the kitchen cabinets is hardware too and okay i don't think that's all done yeah so we what we've realized is you put in these draws and you might not get all of it based on that so but at least we're some gonna, of it yeah we'll get some of it like because most of the kitchen cabinets are done yeah so there's flooring is wood car carpet wood okay. carpet vinyl or tile so the whole flooring budget yeah so we're definitely putting it, that's 100% done. And then the cabinets are the only one that's, they're all there, but they're all I, in. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do, yep. we're going to do the three bathrooms, flooring, landscape, rest of sheetrock, cabinets and paint. And then we'll see what we can approve, like what they'll fund. Yeah. It's not 100% done, but a lot of it's 100% done. It's going to be a great chunk to be able to give our contractor yeah. and keep this thing moving. So now the draw process, what we do, it's pretty simple. Now that we've done it, it's a sheet of paper where you just fill out the address, um, how much you're wanting to draw and bank account details. And then what they do is they just contact you and they come out again. I was going to film it and like record it. And then the guy came out last time and was here. He like zoomed in and out in like a minute or two. He's like, all right, see you guys later. That was all he needed. And it was, and he's really cool, you know, nice dude. But yeah, that's all they got to do is just come in, take a couple pictures. And then we were approved and all of a sudden the money was like, boom, in your account. Uh, it was kind of crazy but there is no playing around it's got to be a hundred percent completed or you're not getting funded on it so that's just one thing you need to keep in mind don't try and do these draw processes a ton oh and they do charge you like 150 dollars to to do the draw fee and stuff so you have to be weary of that try and keep the draw processes down as little as you can but at the same time you got to get your contractors paid and and um, it's nice to, to have that but do sizable chunks don't do little 1000 in fact some of the hard money lenders which we found out with ours is like a five thousand dollar draw minimum so we're going to do a huge sizable it'll be about three quarters of the budget now would be drawn out so yeah. that's pretty good and then it's just a lot of the finishing work and then we can get this thing listed all right hon i gotta ask you now that we're three weeks into it what would you do anything you'd do differently if we got another flip tomorrow like things you'd do different well you know? i feel like everything was just super rushed like yep. i didn't really have a chance to oh, to think out anything i was just hurrying and trying to purchase and pick out selections as fast as i possibly could it was like i it happens so quickly and then what about the budget now now you know are you going to go through more of it more line item and like individual it like what do you mean are we, we need to ask are like fixtures included what light fixtures are included oh like with our contractor yeah yeah because like on one thing it says cabinets and hardware so it's like do i pick out the hardware and he buys it since it's in the quote right and also like the doorknobs all those other things you know it's just all the little things that add up too when you think about it. Yep. You know, like doorknobs and then the vet hood. I mean, luckily we're able to take all of our, our nice appliances from our from our house. From our house since we're finishing up on our remodel. Yeah, so the only other thing that like going in there and seeing that much work done in twenty days, I'm ready to do like thirty of these things. <laughs> So we've got the Rockstar contractor for sure, and, and it does motivate. You get in there, you're like, holy crap, this this you're is like, working. Next. When's the next yeah, one? so it's like, don't want to overlook this one, but at the same time, I'm ready to go. <laughs> we got to find some more. So that's why we've been, you know, I've been showing you in the video, we're really working hard and, and networking and trying to find as many of these as we possibly can. So it's been going good, and uh, we're excited to continue to you know find some more and keep doing this and keep learning you know every time you're learning a lot but man it's it's kind of addicting i'll tell you that much yep <laughs> like, well we're, when are we gonna find the other one come yep. on wholesalers